Hello everybody, I am Gojiro20 here doing another review and this is going to be on a long overdue figure I guess you could say but I get to do it now. It's been a while since I view these type of figures which is the Commander class specifically and this is the Transformers Studio Series 86 Commander class Ultra Magnus and I had the packaging actually, I still have it it's in the garage and I can't get it at the moment because it's part of other stuff not only that, I'm still covered from my injury, my sprained leg basically. I said it in the last video, but yeah, that's why I came and get it. Even though I actually really wanted to show off the packaging. Which, if I get better, if I review Magnetron, I'll probably get the box out immediately, hopefully. And that's one thing I want to mention too. It was between this guy and Magnetron. I chose the ones that people asked for mostly, which is Ultra Magnus. But granted, there's only one person, which is my friend, Tyler. He wanted me to review this figure. Not my tongue right there. So, if you're watching, man, this is for you. And for other, fig other guys there, are my friends, there you go. So, this is Ultra Magnus. And a beautiful, fantastic figure that I didn't think we would get anytime soon because we had to be stuck with the <coughs> Kingdom one. But this thing looks phenomenal look where we are now look at this this is just beautiful first off let's take a look at right here this is definitely optimus prime's vehicle here but it's all white and keep in mind for those that don't know but for those that do i was gonna say for those that don't know this is not a robot figure this is just a piece of the figure the, the body not a regular robot so that's very, very cool. People might be upset about that, but me personally, I think it was a wise choice. So, looks very nice. The, the wheels are nicely painted. Right there. All the way here. The trailer. All about logos. Right there. One all about logo for rubber mode. The missiles. Looks very, very nice. Really, oh shoot. <laughs> Very stunning, honestly. And we'll get to these soon, don't worry. It's a feature, actually. And there it goes. <laughs> but overall, the trailer, beautiful. Beautiful. And you saw there, this attaches. attaches. And that's because um, it's one of mimic the one how it is without it, which is really nice, but I prefer to have it connected. But it does tend to be, cause it tends to come in handy, actually, while you transform this guy in robot mode. For those that just don't want to transform it and it gets in the way, which it's preference. If you want to transform with it or without it, up to you. But I'm going to put it back in. Get back in there. There you go. So, overall, the vehicle mode is nice. And here is Ultra Magnus with Optimus Prime from Earthrise and Vodimus Prime from Kingdom. And as you can see, these three really do look phenomenal. However, Optimus does indeed seem to be the smallest which is unfortunate but this is a leader class figure that's the thing this is a leader figure with a trailer but even though it's a voyager size pretty much this guy is too but this guy earned the commander name in its own way he's a leader class plus but his trailer is basically everything in here so He's commander, but he's more like a leader class plus. Whatever you want to say. Ultra Magnus is the true commander here. This this figure just looks beautiful. And don't worry for those that are just saying, oh, this might be the going to stick to for a long time. Nope. Rumor has it, well, according to leaks, we're going to get an A6 one this year. It's not really revealed yet, but it's, gonna, it's coming. And I cannot wait to see how it looks. But overall... This is how these two look with Ultra Magnus, and I think it looks really good. Ah, uh, here we go. Here is compared with the Kingdom Ultra Magnus. Oh, the cringe. Oh, the cringe. Yeah, this, this just, there's no comparison between the two. This is vastly superior. Like, the thing is with this figure, it was Siege. For Siege, it worked for what it was pretty well. But for Kingdom being Earth mode, it just looks barely like the Earth mode vehicle. It looks so elongated. And 
you can see everything here and this is basically the RAD 2001 Ultra Magnus trailer which only works for that guy during his time and don't worry I did find the HasLab from RAD 2001 Omega Prime I'll get to that review eventually before I, before I review Death Source or after I review Death Source actually I'm sorry but it's after Death Source but oh my Jesus, the missiles are not too bad. I mean, it's nice, but these are vastly superior. I'll tell you why soon. But yeah, you can see which one is bigger. It's this is shorter. Just get this thing out of here. Just no. And here's Ultra Magnus with Sunstreaker, Jazz, and Wheeljack from the Autobots five pack. And here we have Sideswipe from Kingdom with that two pack with Skywarp from Beast Wars second. So, yeah, yeah, it looks really good here. You probably wanna know why do I have these guys here? Well, my, my, my table's moving. <laughs> There's actually a little feature here that everybody wanted to get. I mean, I would be fine without it, but hey, it was needed for apparently. And I'm really happy they did include it. So, here we go right here. We go back here. You fold these two down. And these are now ramps. And if you want, you could send Jazz in here and put them as far as you want, right here. I Because it's probably gonna be the best because we could get another one here. So here we got side swipe. These are going there too. And then you can close these here, which is incredibly really nice. This is really awesome. As for the top here, you could just put more here. There you go, which is very, very cool play feature and i'll get to that in a bit too actually so overall this feature is really really nice back to what i was saying earlier you want to disconnect these here and then you can move this down and it goes like another ramp but granted this one is but this could be like for stop motion though so it could do it but it just bumps there but hey for stop motion you can just you know pretend like it went up and there you go, you go forward if you want, even though it's gonna fall down. <laughs> It'd be better if you do it backwards, probably. Eh, eh, no, there you go, oh, no. <laughs> but you get the idea though. It's a really nice feature nonetheless. So I'm really happy they included it here and the Commander Ultra Magnus. Very nice job, Hasbro, Takara. Autobots, get into my back of the vehicle mode. We're gonna have to go to battle. Ab, uh, Ultra Magnus, are you sure there's a better idea than that? We could just drive ourselves, you know? I can't deal with that now! Now let's get the transformation for Ultra Magnus. What I like to do is take these off. You, you Actually, you do need to take these off, in fact. I was gonna say, you don't need to, but actually, you do. <laughs> That's close call for me there. Another thing, if you want, you could detach this. Or if you don't want to detach it because you don't like parts forming, which I sometimes think parts forming is stuff like this is necessary, but if you don't, then you're gonna wanna connect it like this. Make sure it's connected like so. Because this is gonna be one hell of a ride for transformation here. So another thing I like to do is just open this up and then fold this up and then detach. Oh shoot, actually before you do, before you do actually, let me go back here. You're gonna wanna also, right here, detach this too and fold this down and fold it right there. Because if you don't, then you saw what I did. I kind of messed it up. So in case of potential breakage, don't do that. That was my fault. It's sturdy for the most part. It really is pretty good. But it's better if you just do that than what I just did. So another thing too, you want to fold these legs down here like so, like there. And I know you too, before these are crazy, Oh, my brother's going playing game, I'm sorry. And I also like to fold this down like so. And then this here, fold it down. And right here, open up and fold up like that. It makes these a lot easier, honestly. And then you're gonna wanna fold this down. Oh, wait, hold on. Right here, this piece right here. See, I've had a little issues here. That's because I skipped things here and there. That's my bad, I should not have done that. But there you go. Now you have a arm. And this part, we'll, we'll get to that soon. You're gonna wanna do the same thing here, like so. Remember, fold this up. 
and fold this piece here up like so. Now you have the arms good to go. And then next here we want to do is fold this. Actually, before we do, put this there like so. See, I forgot some things. This piece here, if it's like here, then fold it down. If we do it the other way, it's not going to do it. It's going to lock right there. So just do that and put it down. And then fold this all the way up and connect it however it fits you. Because sometimes I my intends to like not look that great. It could be a little gap right there. Which I'll show you what I mean. Like right there. Sometimes this could be up lower like that. So try to fix it for your liking. Next thing, fold and then fold this up. Same thing here. It's on a ratchet joint here. And then you have everything good so far. And then fold the crotch piece down. You wanna fold this down here too before you turn this up. <laughs> I did the opposite. I, I'm a goofball sometimes. But hey, it's okay. We make mistakes. And then this pe this part here, you're gonna wanna also fold this and make sure, <laughs> there you go. Like so. And then when you do that, you're gonna fold the arm there. Like so. It's like reverse hands the first. Do this, but do be careful. You don't wanna break anything. Ugh. I mean, you probably won't, but it's best to be careful. It's kind of scary sometimes. I hate doing this, honestly. And then do that. There you go. You should be good. And now, so far, last time I tried it, this piece kept falling off. But I'm actually grateful that it did not this time. So let's try this. So what we want to do now is fold these back and then put his head out like so, like there. Then what we want to do next is fold this and put this down and disconnect and put it all the way fold it down like here and make sure the head is like aiming down like so at this piece right here fold it up like there and then make sure everything is lined up and then his head pops up like that because if you mess it up he can't deal with that right now <laughs> and then go back here and fold the wheels right here up to make it look more red and fold this down and then collapse everything and make sure this connects right here and the other side too make sure that's well and line everything up properly like so and bada bing bada boom and something is missing and that would be the missiles and i turn off the lights <laughs> I am so being silly today, but hey, I'm just trying to make this good, you know? Here we have Ultra Magnus in his robot mode, and he is a stunning figure. Dude, like, there's a reason why this figure was, oh, before I forget, <laughs> fold the wheels. <laughs> uh, I know someone's out there going to be like, hey, you forgot to fold the wheels up, man. But hey, I also got other things, you know? Leave me alone. <laughs> but other than that, if you got that everything right, he is gorgeous. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's take a look at that dang head sculpt. Now this is the head of Ultra Magnus right here. And there's a little dust there. I don't know how that got there, but I'll clean that real quick. As you can see, this figure looks straight up like in the 80s movie. Ultra Magnus looks so good here. And yeah, he has light piping, but it's actually really damn good. Look at that. Even without the light, you can still see his eyes, which is very, very impressive. And some angles, but still looks phenomenal. And it was a shoulder pads, which is very known for his giant shoulder pads. And the Autobot logo right there, the arms and the missiles. And his fingers are individual, and I'll get to articulation soon, but yeah, that's having a hard time. Here we have the crotch piece there, the legs, and all that. This thing just looks phenomenal. How can you go wrong with this figure? Like, and especially how can you not like this figure? And it has a buff flap though, I'll tell you that for sure. So that's the two, looks wrong. <laughs> The back looks nicely detailed as well. There's a lot of nice detail here in this figure. It's just so phenomenal. Again, how can you not like this figure? 
it just looks really really good i'll get to the features in a little bit soon but first off good articulation so you go like up a lot and down like that not too shabby but he can really look down look up like it's pretty crazy but it's still a transformation really but eh you could use that and you can move around like that it's all the ball joints so you have a lot of pretty much a lot of free range of movement like there no, I can't deal with that now. And arms can move to 60 degrees, but it's on a ratchet joint. And they can spread, which, yeah, it doesn't have the little detail, which wish it did, but honestly, I don't really mind it at all. And he has bicep swivels and elbow joint. And the wrists can swivel. And like I said earlier, his fingers are not individual. I mean, I'm sorry I said it, but his index finger is, but his fingers can move. Look at that, he can point too. He's like, he's pointing at something, which is really, really nice. And we'll get to that soon too, which I believe we know why, but still they had the budget for it too. So that's all that matters. And we right hear the waist can swivel. And I don't know, he doesn't have an ab crunch, my bad. <laughs> Wish he did though, that'd be awesome. Legs can spread and go for or forward, back. If you move the crotch piece and the skirt here, both skirts, you can go back, forward, spread, swivel, knee bend, like so. Make sure everything is nice. And there you go. And ankle pivot. Not that crazy though, but hey, it's effective. So you can get this guy in very good posability here. So it's really good, really, really good. As far as accessories go, you get two guns here. This is his mostly well-known one. I forgot what it's called, but looks incredible. Really, really nicely done. There's some paint scuffs on mine, but it's not the end of the world, honestly. It just looks beautiful looks again really nice and you get a secondary one which i don't remember if he had this actually it's been a while since i've seen the movie or i don't even know if he actually had this but it exists it's not just like a toy reference it has to be something from the 86 show or the movie i mean but even the season three i'll look it up later on maybe i might forget but hey you get extra guns and that's all that matters he has guns. And there is another accessory he comes with. Well, more actually. This is Command and Class, which this is awesome. Blast effects. This is the Omega Supreme one again. This is like how many times we got Omega Supreme, Skylinks, which is all like it's like the Omega Supreme is like this one, but more like darker. Like more like smoky with orange. That's Omega Supreme. Skylinks was all, all orange. Just all of it. And then Ronimus's was blue. And the fossilizer that was an exclusive as a pulse was like a magenta, like reddish blue as well. So that's like four times that there. And then we have this. And then we have Magmatron. So this blast effects gets used multiple times. I think I'm wrong, there's more. They have been used a couple of times again. But I try to remember, but that's what I can remember so far. Voter Master never came with one. Armada Ops probably never came with one either, so that's interesting. Nicely detailed though, but mine, I think because the paper kind of got stuck and paint is messed up, just irks my soul. <laughs> you could display, detach it, you know, all that. You do come with extra ones here too, so he can shoot with his guns. There you go. Right, I'm gonna do it right, right there, which is really nice. Or, if you want, because see this right here, you can detach it and just shoot it like that. But the thing is, you have no where to put this here, and that's where your this comes in. You can take this off, take this off, and put it in there. And he has a big old blast right there. Pew! which is really, really nice. I love that. However, if you don't want him to display with any of his weapons, you can actually put them in storage. Like you see this slot right here, 
this goes right there and it's specific the small one goes here the larger one goes right there in his crotch and you just put that there and there you go i'm not personally a fan of this i mean this one i'm fine with this but this not too much but hey it's for like if you don't want to display figures with any of the weapons accessories at the moment and we'll get to that in a bit too because there is another feature here in this figure let me just put this down a little bit hold on give me a second if you see right here in this chest it looks really nice right but then you could do this open this up and boom here we have his chest and it has the matrix of leadership there like in the 86 movie and taking this off real quick there you go really nicely detailed and i want to say it's one of the best ones but i don't really know because 86 optus prime or 11 time 86 optus prime is on the horizon eventually if the leaks are true but also this is how many times we got this matrix now i love that we get matrixes but this is too much now Please let the A6 all not be the last one. But it might not happen, but still, really nice. And you have the nice detail there too. But everything's decked out in detail. Like you see like the blue metallic paint and the same color lavender from the guns. This is not silver. That is, I think, lavender color scheme right there. Same as like the guns, how they were painted. That's very, very nice. You see that there too. And of course, because of that, there is a reason why it comes with the Matrix. You can try, well, there it goes, to make him hold the Matrix leadership like he did in the film. And I'll be honest, this is kind of not really a, an easy way for me to do it because his hands are too big and this is too small. And the way to do this is you have to get his detached like that, just do that so it could detach it and have butterfly joints but i tried it's just not really working well let me try again yeah this is the best i could do and the matrix is now backwards what well, doesn't matter really he is not really chosen unfortunately even though i feel like he would have been fit perfectly but hey hasbro took our mostly hasbro said otherwise while he's still freaking trying to to this day open it galvatron would just take his time and kill him the heck ultra magnus suck at this magnus are you really still trying to open that? I mean, it's been like a long time already, especially in this channel since 2021. Man, what the heck is wrong with you? Leave me alone. I can't deal with you now. I almost got it. Dang it open. Seriously, Magnus, I already have my men here. And years later, I already have my sweeps. So just give me the matrix again and I'll be out of your way. Well, you could just kiss my tailpipe because this donut is mine. Just kill him. No! Jesus, Magnus, look what they did to you. <laughs> uh, jokes aside, this is actually one of the last features this figure has. It's literally becoming a part. And to show it off, in order to do this is you're gonna wanna open this up and there's this piece here. It's like a Combine Awards peg joint back then. You just push that and you could detach it and Severed arm. And the same goes with this. You can do this too, but the problem with mine, but see, it's just the leg ones. I think it's probably just mine only, hopefully only mine, but they sometimes, they see that one got easier. This right here on the other side, the mushroom just pops off when I try this feature. So that's a, uh, <laughs> if you have the you know the junkions you can help them reconstruct them again but here you go <laughs> severed ultra magnus like in the film he died hasbro the takara just love bringing back some dark memories for the 80s kids but it's not a feature that i particularly like crazy for but it's really nice to have it for those that want to recreate the scene even though they should have had his head detachable because his head also fell off in the film during the explosion but it's kind of uncanny but it's a feature nonetheless just want you guys to know if you guys hear a fan in the background i have it right next to my face it's because it's summer and it's really hot so i was gonna say that earlier if you ever heard of a fan around here that's why so hope you can deal with it 
For science comparison, here is Ultra Magnus with Cyclonus, Scourge, and Galvatron. And as you can see, they all look really good together. Magnus, for some people, may be big, but I think this is probably like the right scale, despite him being a behemoth and he was supposed to be on the same height, just a little bit taller than Galvatron and all, all these three guys here overall, like the kingdom size. But I take this one any other day. And here we have 86 Ultra Magnus with Kingdom Roundup's Prime, which is the commander class, and the rest here, well, actually Springer is from Siege, and the rest are from 86 too. We have RC, Tug Exclusive, Buzzworthy Cup, and Blur. And they all look pretty good together, except Springer has more battle damage paint on him, which will be fixed with the upcoming 86 Leader Class Springer, which looks very, honestly to me, an improvement over the original. And people had gripes with it since the release or reveal, but me personally, I think it just looks more of an improvement than what we have here. This one was still good, but that new one just looks way better. It blows this one out of the water. And the rest looks good here too. People argue, well, they debate that Rodimus is not accurate to 86 at all. It's like more like its own design from John Warden when he made it or like the Japanese design too, which that's why I liked about this figure. It was, it was trying to stand out more differently than others. And I love that. The fact that people say we need an 86 Commander Rodimus, no, not yet at least. This is a good Rodimus already as it is. I don't need another Rodimus right now. This is already good. But if you guys do want an 86 Rodimus Prime, let me know in the comments below to see like why they should make it or why they should release it. Why is it necessary right now? I think for the moment, they should focus on other things, not focus on a new Rodimus. Because if we already have one, wait for a couple more years, then maybe we'll get that inevitable 86 Rodimus, whatever. But overall, they all look good here. And for another comparison, here is with Earthrise Optus Prime and 86 Jazz from the 5 pack. It because, why not, you know? Especially, see how they look, and they do look really good, especially with Jazz. Prime is pretty good, but again, like I said earlier, I cannot wait for that inevitable 86 Optus Prime that was listed. I really hope it does turn out really great, just like Ultra Magnus. But we'll see in due time. But this Jazz is from the Autobot 5 pack, which is, to me, the better Jazz. Has. But I'll get to this guy another time. Let me know if you guys want to review him soon, which I might review other things first, but still, let me know if you guys want to see a review of them though. But overall, they look good. And plus, there's like an animated reference here, you know? Ultra Magnus, Jazz, animated. <laughs> More animated stuff, please, please, Has with the Carver. Now, with that being said, let's get to the final thing here. Oh, it's a little crooked here. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> My bad. But. This is the final part of these comparisons, and here we go. Oh boy, the Kingdom Ultra Magnus. And for those that actually do like this Ultra Magnus figure, more power to you, and that's fine. I respect, you know, what you love. I'm not gonna tell you, oh, your opinion's wrong, yada, 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 my stuff is facts, yours is cap. I'm not gonna do that because we or I have no right to do that to you. But if you love this, that's fine. This is just my opinion. <sighs> they really were trying to make this thing look 86 as it is. It's not though. This, this is true 86. This, <sighs> it's, the, it's the Siege Ultra Magnus looking more 80s and I'm not kidding you when I say, oh, this thing's floppy. My copy at least is floppy. You see these eyes here? They look pretty nice, right? But when you put this on, he has normal eyes like in the Seed show. But they look like sunglasses or visors. They really were trying. Because this guy here, they look more prominent. They look like actual eyes for Ultra Magnus. This is a real Ultra Magnus here. This is something else. But again, if you love it, that's fine. More power to you. But I'm happy that I have Ultra Magnus now because I'm just gonna put this thing in the past. Literally, I'm, I think after this review and when I have the time, this along with other figures that are being replaced by new stuff like this, I'm gonna sell off. 
and yeah, just I'm just gonna put this behind me now because it's out the old and with the new. Even though this guy's been out for a little while, but if you guys see the issue, get him. Come on. So final verdict on the Transformers Studio Series 86 Commander Class, the first Commander Class in the Studio Series line, Ultra Magnus. What else is there to say? This figure is beautiful, it's astonishing. It really feels like a mini masterpiece when you hold, hold it or you look at it and when you mess with it, it looks just like the masterpiece inside but this pose you. I did the best I can here. Hopefully it's not too bad. But overall, this figure is just great. It's beautiful. I, I keep seeing it multiple times because that's what it is. It's just amazing. And we don't have to deal with this stuff anymore. But again, if you like this, that's perfectly fine. Your opinion. That's all that matters. But if I want an Ultra Magnus, I get this. This is what I would get. This is my Ultra Magnus, my definitive Ultra Magnus for G1 wise. Other continuities, well, it depends on if we ever get one. I know the HasLab from RAD 2001 is coming out. I already funded that, so looking forward to that next year when I get to that. But I love everything about this the vehicle mode, the transformation, the robot mode, the details, the accessories, the articulation, even the gimmicks. The um, body part to picking off thing, like the arms and legs falling out, fluff, like the 86 movie, that's perfectly great for the people that want to do that. Me personally, I could have lived without it, but I love how they handled the Matrix part. That was amazing, and I love it. Overall, this figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. There are some gripes I have with it with my copy, and some pink scratches, and the gun. But those are just minor, like no big deal. This thing is truly amazing. If you have the chance, the money, or anything, get this figure while you can. Right now it's sold out. It's sought after at the moment. But I can almost guarantee you, but don't don't take it for real. I could be wrong all the time. He might get reissued eventually. Because if I know from the past, Commanders have tended to be reissued a lot or re-released multiple times because it was from Jetfire, Skylinks, Rodimus not so much because he's still available at this time, which is a shame because I like that I like that figure a lot. Motormaster got reissued, but now he's sold out again in some areas. Optimus Prime from Armada just got reissued, and there's only a matter of time when he gets reissued. And let's see if Magmatron also does get the same treatment because he's now available. To buy right now if you're interested in that figure go for it i love that figure but magnus sit tight you might get him if you missed out but if you do have him if you find a good deal for him he is astonishing you will not regret this figure so that's it hope you guys enjoyed the review see you guys next time go to 20 out